So it's 70 days to jump exam and I know you are there thinking about your level of preparedness whether you are ready for this exam or not. So checking my YouTube analytics recently I discovered that I have a whole lot of new subscribers and viewers which is which are basically those that are preparing for jump exam. So I thought of making this video to share my jam story with you so, so if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome and if you are a new subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and like this video please the like button is very very important make sure you click the like button and comment before the end of the video all right let's get right into the main video So talking about my jam story basically i wrote jam just two times and um during the course of writing the exam i noticed a whole lot of things a whole lot of different things so my first jam was when i was in secondary school which was in my ss3 so i wrote the jam exam prepared just like the normal way to study for school exam so that was the way i prepared i won't lie so and at the end of the result i got to around 14. so then some, something happened that that is very very funny but then i uh, the way I was praised because I scored so around 14, like I thought maybe I'm the king. So I, I think in my secondary school then I, I scored the highest. So can you see how, how it is? So and the reason for that kind of praise that oh it's scored to 14, that's a whole lot. So but deep down that's not what I want. Though my preparation did not show that maybe my score would be more than that. So that's not a big problem. So. And when time people asked for my jam score, then they said, ah, wow, you scored so well, two around 14. So they, maybe they thought the required is once you score above 200, you've had a, a huge UTM result. Until, so I wrote my jam exam April 2020, yeah. So until January 2021, when I traveled to Ibadan. So I applied for UI medicine and surgery. So then after the jam, I dropped the jam and started preparing for my wife. So I I made the results, I passed, and the next thing is for us to start preparing for the post TTM. But which I know deep down that this 214 I scored is not enough for me to get admission to medicine and surgery in UI. But I said I'm going to apply. So if I'm not given admission, then I'll come back in 2021. So I was I planned to write jam again in 2021. So January I packed my load, traveled to Ibadan for a tutorial. I stay with some of our relatives then. So I prepared attend tutorial and it was a whole lot of like a whole lot of let me say relearning because the way I'm coming from my town is there there is no much of exposure. I think that happens to be my first time, like my very first time that I will be leaving her town. So you can see how it is. So then my first day in tutorial, I was able to meet oh, some friends and the like. So it got to a point at the tutorial that anytime they ask for my jam results, I dare not tell them. Like because you hear scores that will humble you. Okay, you hear people mention 280, 290, 300, 320, 340. I remember we had one, we had 1345 in my tutorial and then. So and I'm here in tutorial 14. The king of results that uh, the people are praising that uh, I had very good results. So it got to a point that I now have to sit back and rethink about uh, how I really, really want to study. I have to make new study strategies and the like. So I make it to a point my tutorial is, is usually in the afternoon, 2 to 6. So from morning 8 a.m. till that 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I'm going to study. Anything I want to do where I'm staying, I will ensure I do it very early and carry my chair outside. I used to stay in the veranda outside, then start reading. So I'm still going to talk, talk about the recommended textbooks that you can use. I'm going to make a video for that after this. So um, I'm going to study from 8 to around 1.30. Then the remaining 30 minutes, I'm using to freshen up, rush to the tutorial. So I did not usually use to take transport. If you know where Orogun is at Ibadan, that's where I stay. So I will trek from Orogun to Agowo in UI, which is my um where my tutorial is so it's a whole lot of sacrifice and sometimes even if i'm giving the money for transport i collect those money together and use them either to pay for mock because i used to write i'm still going to talk about the tutorial aspect so i will leave my tutorial to other tutorials like t boss t tutor then write their 
or mock exam so to know how far i'm preparing for the ui post tme exam so it was a whole lot that we trek within that 30 minutes take my mates do everything fresh enough you know, and rush to the story i'll be sweating so then the post tme came the results came out ui checked us then so we, we were the first set to write a uh, cbt post tme in ui we, we did it at ui dlc and the questions were practically different from everything we prepared for. Like everything we prepared for, you came. So you now have to start to think like somebody that did not even know the scope of the exam before. So though they were O level, but the way the exam was structured, so they started with Roman numerals. So no Roman numerals then, like the way we know it is just that, okay, if they will ask you, there may be like two questions in jam. Or you I made it to the extent that all the hundred me question because your four subjects you are going to answer 25 25 question in each that's the way you are posted is actually structured so on to the exam hall we did our best and the questions were still tricky in the sense that if you are not even use of english use of english is also um, Roman numerals. They said that synonyms you might have three and different answer for a particular question. Instead, that they will just ask you one synonyms. So you have two different synonyms for you to pick in the Roman numerals. And we thank God. We thank God. We wrote the exam after a week there about yeah. So the results came out. So I scored sixty two in the post The highest was eighty four. So I think. If, if we are to check grade the way the exam is, if we are to grade, I'm not praising myself, but if we are to grade the way the exam is, I would still say I did a little bit because there are so many people that don't even score to 50 at all. So, but still, it's still not enough. So for me to gain admission, my aggregate was around 58. So the jam score really, really affected it. Then, what's the next plan? So I dropped the post to TMA score. So I, I, I traveled home, then immediately traveled back to Ibadan to start preparing for jam. So that's where the part of preparing for jam in one month comes in. So my post TMA score was April 6. I can, I mean, post TMA exam, I cannot forget. And jam was scheduled to hold around May 19 or something. So a week after our results was out immediately, I started preparing for jam. So one of the ways I prepare at that point, I'm no longer attending tutorial because I notice I attend tutorial from January to April. So whatever I want to learn within that four months, I believe I've learned it. So it's just require my personal reading and level of preparedness. And then most tutorials did not start well jam exam. I mean jump tutorial on time because UI tutorials at Ibadan they taught all their students for post TME. So starting for jam, they have jam students too separately. But for me that I left uh, post TME coming back for jam to join them by the summer. So I just stayed back at home, packed all my textbooks, started reading. So the only thing I used to do then is also to attend mock. I will go every Saturday, there will always be one or two, one or uh, two tutorial that will be having their mock that Saturday. So it's just 500 naira. I think recently when I traveled home during the Christmas, I still saw um, one of my tickets for T for T bus uh, mock exam, 500 naira. Then so and it's it helped me a lot to the extent that you we, we are going to answer questions on um literally all the topics. So each topic's questions on that day. So it's really really shaped me. Like after reading for each concept, then you come back to test yourself. So and one of the things I noticed while I was writing the mock is that my scores were around 280 270 290 300 all the mock that i wrote that was within that one month all the mock were around that scores so even it got to a point that um i use my school my school CBA, CBT to test myself if i do test on CB, um, my school i was going around 280 290 300 so i was not like this thing is becoming frequent like and my head is to score 320 so then that was when UI still now do the worst that they said there won't be admission in 2022. So I plan, uh, yeah, 2021. So I plan to write the jam in 2021 and use it to apply to UI again. But UI can sue a whole year. So I have to change. I picked Uniben at first. So after this, okay, I picked Uniben before the exam, before the jam exam. And um, with the OPLA, I'm going to score about 320 and apply for the post jam for when the jam results come out. Okay, before then, yeah, I wrote mock exam. I wrote jam mock and I scored 271. So I was paid, it was not enough. So I tried to buckle down. Even then, when I scored 271, I've not read this novel. 
that they used to give us, the life changer. So they gave us the life changer after registration. I've not read it when I scored 271. So now a week to the exam, I picked it up and I read it. Do all the necessary thing. Then the jam result now came out, guys. Okay. I'm going to tell you my score at the end of this video, so keep watching. So the jam results came out, I cried, I cried. I, not really because I did not score well, but because what I could get more is more than that. But until I came more than that, I noticed that 2021 jam result was generally poor. If you compare the statistics that was released to other years, you know that mm, this is practically like something else is wrong with the results. So to the extent that when people start to tell me their results, I hide <laughs> I decided to thank God that I'm, I'm so happy for uh, having that kind of results because there are people that still prepared more than me. That's where this comes in. Now, I have someone that scored that 345. That I said he wrote UI post to TME and did not meet up. His score around um, 60 something, I think. So, and could not meet up. So, he wrote jam again and did not even score up to 200. That's where I know that something else is wrong. So, even if he did not prepare well, that shouldn't be the score he's going to have. So, that alone makes me to some own courage and take it the way it is. So, then I start to think about what to do. Should I go on with the post me, Unibank post with 270C? So, yeah, I scored 270 in my second term, and that was the result I used to gain my passion. So, the reason behind this is because the 2021 performance was general so it was very easy for me unlike now so if the general performance is very very okay you cannot say you want to gain admission into medicine in um into medicine so i definitely did not introduce myself like, in the first place so i'm at the day and i'm in second year should i say second year okay my mates are now in the second level but you know medical school so i'm a second third year medical student of loud tech so now, getting admission into Lautech is now more competitive than before. So, with that 270, I was able to secure my admission and with thorough performance. So, I proceed to writing post UTME. So, I also have a very good result in post UTME. So, 35 out of 50. The post UTME was 30, was 50. So, I think since then, since I was set in 2021 till date, three, okay, two more sets have been admitted and Lautech did not use, um, they use screening, they did not use post UTME. So, but if you are writing for TTM, as far as Lautech is concerned, it's 50 of questions in all the five subjects. So that's just basically about a jump story. So it's nothing much. But one of the encouragements I'm going to give you is that maybe you just started preparing or you've been preparing all this one. Please prioritize revision. Revision is very, very important. When I was writing my mock exam, yeah, is it mock of the main exam? That I noticed that a very simple question. I missed them a like very simple question so you should pay attention to simple but things that matter so there are things that are simple but they are matter but they matter so much so it won't really really be nice if um questions that are that are supposed to give you mark are the ones that are taking your mark away so please and please try as much as possible and one of the advice i used to give give jam by is that when the exam is closed you sh that shouldn't be the time that you will carry big big textbooks that's why i said i'm going to make a video on recommended textbooks that you can study for jam the video won't be long so it's just sharp so when the exam is very very close just make sure that you make a plan oh i've read all these things these are the things i've read then a week to the exam should just be for revision basically a week to your jam exam should be for revision and it's going to go a long way so if you are able to pay attention to everything you've read it's unlike you just reading 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 and the exam came you are not able to deliver the things that you've read so please and please that's very very important and that's where i'm going to be drawing the cutting for today so if you are still watching please do well to like drop a comment and share this video please don't forget to subscribe it's necessary and thank you all for subscribing thank you for staying bye see you in my next video